What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. This has been sitting for a very long time. Now I know I say that in a lot of these videos, but this legitimately has. Now I, I'm not being dramatic. Probably seven months, six and a half, seven months. So there's two devices we're going to be going over, but it is the same company. And the other day, someone asked me, how come I don't do reviews on mech mods anymore? There's a real simple answer to that. The reason being is there's not really a whole lot to go over. All I could do is kind of show you the situation of what we're working with. Like, okay, this is what we have. It's got some threading. The throw is this. And then there's that. And then that's kind of it. I don't know what else to go over aside from just the machining. I mean, I could take apart the pin, but then again, keep in mind, I am colorblind, so I can't tell whether it's a copper firing pin or brass or or the difference between nickel and stain. It's just not my field. I, I, I can't tell, so I don't want to be the person to judge that. Plus, those reviews are like six minutes. I don't... I don't... I don't know why you need that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I think people just want me to do them just to do them. Like, oh, I watched Jay's review on the mech mod. Good. He knows nothing about them. I'll argue that just because, well, there's not really a whole lot to know about a mech mod. So what we're going to be going over is I think the name of the company is LCM for Loud Cloud Mods. Extremely difficult name to say, especially very fast. Tongue twister, yep. I've got the Note, I think this is called, which is the Mech Mod. I think it's an 18350 or an 18650. And then you have the Whisper, which I believe is an RDTA. Now, keep in mind, I did not take these out of the package. This is the way that I got them. So I'm going to bring it down. Show, uh, we'll go over the mod first, then the RDTA, put the two together, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Now, the only reason why I'm doing this is because this is considered high-end. I figure, why not just show it off so everybody else knows at least what these products are. So without further ado, let me bring it down, show everything inside of these boxes. Hopefully this microphone is picking up good. If it's not, I apologize. I am going through a midlife crisis with audio right now. So... Without further ado, let's flip it. All right, so what you're looking at is the Sound of Addies. That's the RDA we'll go over shortly. And then, of course, the mod, which we're going to go over right now. So on the front of the box, the Note LCM down there on the bottom, Note LCM, and then same thing on the other side. So let's just open it up because there's nothing on the back side of this. And I can tell you right off the jump, just by looking at the way that this is packaged, looks like it's very, very cheap. I may be wrong. I, it's very possible. Old school mech mods that would come from China were packaged like this. Very, very mm, just cheap plastic type of deal. Okay, so we have a hybrid connection up here on the top. This does look like it is adjustable. Also, you get this little one, so you're able to use it as an 18350, which, to be honest with you, as cute as that may be, I don't really feel the need. Man, I hate this packaging. There we go. You have an 18350 version and then an 18650 version. Basically the same exact thing, and if you want to go with the 18350, you're just going to take the top section of this off and then put it down here. Again... It's just cutting it basically in half. You're going from 35 millimeters in height to 65 millimeters in height. It has a very weird type of look to it. Machining doesn't look to be too terrible. You have either a magnet or a spring configuration, meaning that it's going to be that diverse. And then an extra spring and an Allen key. So I'm assuming what is in here is probably magnetic. Yes, that is magnetic. And then that's going to go right there on the bottom. Keep in mind that this is a mech mod. Please do diligence if you're going to use a product like this. Do not just put a battery in it hoping, okay, I know what I'm doing. There it is. You know, don't, don't go that far. And then I guess on the bottom there, serial number 179. Knowing Ohm's Law, sorry for the reflection, that's going to be very difficult for me to pick up. Knowing Ohm's Law is absolutely instrumental in this type of configuration. Please do not just take a device like this and just wing it. 
I do not recommend it. The threading on the bottom is not terrible. Very, very smooth. And up here as well, very, very smooth. You can kind of put like a screwdriver in there and just kind of thread that out. Very, very smooth. Very nice. Again, it's a mech mod. We're not going to be using this rendition for a multitude of reasons. Sound of Addies. Same thing, nothing on the box whatsoever. And then there's the RTA. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a mouth-to-lung configuration. Take a look at this drift tip. Machining isn't fantastic, but it's not super polished. Then again, this could be from sitting for very... Yeah, look at this tank. Mm, yeah, you see a little bit of plastic on the inside there. And this is the problem with a lot of polycarbonates. Then again, there are some companies in Europe that like this color. I think it's absolutely treacherous. Ugh. And then on the side... In your profile pouch, holy cow. You get about 65 different O-rings in case if one of those you have break down. Main profile pouch, you're gonna get a squonk pin. I'm assuming two extra post, that can't be post screws, not like that. It's gotta be some type of 510. And some more O-rings and an Allen key. Serial number 635. Basically what's gonna happen here is this gonna go on here like this. Now, I'm not really going to do a review on this whole product. I'm not. I'm going to show you this, but I'm going to use this on a regulated mod. See, because the idea is, as much as you see this 18650 configuration, they really want you to use the 18350 with it, because it looks super cute. I'm not going to lie. I don't feel real confident in doing an RTA with this. Maybe a little mouth-to-lung jammy? Sure. Don't you wish an 18650 could be that size? But that's what you're looking at if you were to use the 18350 rendition. Okay, I'm going to assume that this whisper could be used as an RTA, an RDA, and an RDTA. Very unique situation. Basically, the whole top section is cut out. It's not perfect machining, but it's definitely not terrible. Turning the tank left and right is going to shut off the juice flow control. I'm assuming to take the rest of this apart, you line these lines up and pull them apart, maybe? No? Nope, that's to show that it's open. I managed to figure out how to take this all apart. I thought that there was going to be an option to essentially make it a dripper because there's a squonk pin. Now, either I am literally clueless or... I feel like I, I've missed the memo. To make this into an RDA, first off, do doesn't make any sense. This is the top section, which apparently, if you look, that there, you don't necessarily have to take this whole thing off. There is a little seam here, so I can separate this. Extremely difficult to grab the twist. And that goes to this section here. So that's the RTA. So you see, like that, that's how the RTA is. And then the glass in the center. This would be the RDA deck, unless, of course, there is a Whisper tank. Yeah, like, a, I feel like they may have sent that to me, but I don't have that. Yeah, I, I don't really have that to go over right now. All I have is just the RTA, so I guess that's what we're going to go over. With some very, very unique machining practices, you see that? What's going to happen is, airflow is going to come in here, but juice is going to just kind of sit and go down here into the well. Oh, I feel like this is going to be a nightmare wicking. Those ports are very, very thin, so maybe a high PG type of juice. And then apparently you would fill it up here, but to remove this... Now you can see with the screws that they are gold plated, which is never, ever, ever a good idea just because it will flake off eventually. It doesn't help with conducti conductivity. And then it looks like these little airflow inserts do in fact come off with what we're going to do anyway. We're going to make this wide open. I'm going to treat this like a direct lung jammy. Something I'm going to tell you that I absolutely despise on devices like this is when you have posts and they're closed off basically you have to pre-cut your legs and then even then let's just say you wanna you built it too far you can't get that build quite right you can't do anything here so as much as this is isolated whether or not you do have a wire that touches this on the side is totally fine because that is your negative block it just it makes it very difficult for you to you know pull that tight and get it right however you can put a jig inside of there to line up the coils but i'm just going to kind of wing this for what it is
All right, so what you're looking at is the Whisper RTA and the Noise, if that makes sense, Mech Mod. Let's bring it on the top. Back on top with the Loud Cloud Mods, Whisper RTA and the little jammy on the bottom. I can't see using this as this is because first off, the build that is in there is entirely too high. If I was to use this as an 18350, look, no one's gonna deny that this doesn't look sexy as hell. Like without a doubt, sure, it looks great, but there's a huge problem with that. It's an 18350, and I, I don't really like using devices like this. Just not a big fan of mechs. And I think that that was a phase that started happening mid-2018 and kind of ended a year later in July or August of 2019. A lot of people that are going to use these really tiny, tiny 18350 mods are people that are going to use really small RDAs. It's not so much in that RTA realm. I'm just going to put this on a regular mod, and then we're going to vape from there and see how this vapes. Picking up at a 0 0.81. Let's do it. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. And that's because I removed those little airflow adapters on the inside. Wow! Okay, I'm impressed with that. I am legitimately yep i feel that if i was to use those little adapters that i took out it would have made this more restrictive like a typhoon gt3 because of the way that it is now it's more like a tripod the the price point of this is very high i think it's 159 euros just the way that this is okay i necessarily don't have an issue with that what I do have an issue with is if this is going to be labeled as kind of a hybrid, if you will, like an RTA, an RDTA, and an RDA, shouldn't I have got the little section or the, the cap to make this an RDA? Maybe you have to buy that as an accessory later on. Maybe I bought this a year ago because the last review that there was of this was from a year ago. However, my packaging is different than what their packaging is. So I'm not really quite sure as to what is going on there. Like, what is what? I don't know. And surprisingly enough, you'll see the bubbles. It's legitimately wicking without a problem. First off, if you're looking at buying this RTA, I, I don't really know where you could find it, to be honest with you. It's not something that's promoted on a lot of these different websites, especially in the high-end bracket. I'm sure if you look deep enough, you'll be able to find it. Matching those up, perfectly fine if that's your type of vaping. Now, I know I say that like every single vapor is different. You know, some hobbyists like to use RDAs, regulated mods. Some people like to do these types of configurations, but with an 18 through 50, you're just not going to get good battery life. Even if you were to build this, let's just say lower at 0 0.8, 0 0.7, and an 18 350, you might get 50 or 60 hits out of it. And if you want something that's that stealthy, would you really put that in a mech mod where you have... I don't want to say no safety features whatsoever. I just can't see. I, I, I don't know. It, it's intense. It really is. For the price point that this is, for the two pieces to match, is a little bit pricey. That's not saying that it's overpriced, but if you're just to use the RTA by itself, you're going to have a hard time matching this because it's extremely polished. You have these lines all over the place, like a modern retro type of look. The drip tip reminds me of... One of those things that you clean your ears with. <laughs> or you stick in your nose to remove the hair. Like a, like a nose. A nose. Oh, that tickled. 
it's not terrible that that's where we're at. As far as a whole kid is concerned, that is an extremely small niche amount of people that are going to want to vape that way. And I'm not one of them. It vapes good. You got good airflow. The deck is a little bit basic, but it works well for what it is. Amazing flavor. I'm, I mean, absolutely phenomenal. And it's wicking good. So if I had to rate this RTA on a 0 to 10, I'm going to put this somewhere in the 6. Let's just go 6 block. I don't want to go too much higher than that because I don't like the aesthetics of this on the outside. So all in all, it's not a bad pickup. I just don't know if I would recommend anybody that likes RTAs to go out and go pick this up. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jesus.